Fantastic. Hello there, Master Hellish here, and welcome back to my open TTD Let's Play series, where we are currently tracking along one of our trains. Which one is it? Train 265, a fantastic name, and it is travelling from uh, the paper mill, which we set up last time, to the textile mill. And on board, it is the first load of manufacturing supplies and crates of goods. So I'm interested to see if these goods get transferred properly and if the manufacturing supplies get delivered properly. In theory, they will. But theory is a treacherous thing that can fall apart at any moment. So, um, we're going to we're going to keep an eye on this train once it gets into the station, which it's on its way to now. But today's episode will mainly be connecting up all the necessary different places in the area for the textile mill. So in this case, we're looking for wool. That's wool, not wood, remember, and plant fibres. Um, so we don't want to get those two mixed up. So if we go and have a look and find out what produces them and then where they are on the map, uh, we will be able to then put signs down and get things linked up ready for today. However, this train is now about to enter the station. It needed to go to the depot. Probably should put some depots along here. Oh, look, the second one's on its way already. Is there a third one? No, there isn't a third one just yet. So first things first, I'm interested a little bit to see how much we've earned, but I'm also really interested to see what gets delivered and if any of these trains... Right, so the, the goods are getting dropped off and the manufacturing supplies got dropped off. And the goods got picked up, but the manufacturing supplies didn't go to the mill. Okay, so let's pause this and try a new order. So instead of transfer and leave empty, we're going to do unload all and leave empty. That will, I believe, force a transfer and unload if required. So, second train's coming in. We've changed the orders. The orders are now unload all and leave empty. Hopefully, uh, as long as those orders work, we shouldn't see this manufacturing supplies go up. We should just see the goods being transferred into this train 267 right here. So there's the second train. I'm glad there was a second one because it enables me to make sure everything's okay. So you're in. Now you're unloading. Ah, brilliant. Look, it's transferring the goods and not transferring. You got a transfer slash income. That was the order it was supposed to be. Unload and leave empty. Uh, right, okay, so let's just uh, pause the game a second and uh, take a look at what we need to do. Um, so, there's our starting point. We need wool and plant fibres. So if we go in here and go uh, down towards the bottom, there's wool. Now, wool only comes from a sheep farm. So when we get the world map up, and go to industries uh, we can turn them all off but just turn back on sheep farm there we go there's sheep farm turned on and the second thing is plant fibers so if we switch now to plant fibers that only comes from mixed farms okay so now we can go in here and look for mixed farms as well Right, so we've got those two selected on the world map. Let's go and see what we've got nearby. We must be stuff that we can use. Ah, yes, there we go. So, well, there's not a massive amount around. Oh, there's quite a few over here. That's good. Oh, and the grey ones are quite difficult to see. The mixed farms. Uh, I can see that there's some over there. There's three over there. Um, there's a couple over here as well. We'll have to get a track over and in for that uh, there's also some here and here what I'm thinking is we make this one go completely north and this one go completely south and then we just join things into it um, so we'll start with this one going north and I don't think we're gonna go any higher than like here so maybe then that can go diagonally up this bit because there's a sheep farm there and a farm and some farms there so north-ish 
I suppose there's some up there, so maybe we'll cross that river and come up to here. Um, let's look at the topography. Oh yeah, big hills there, and some moderate hills there. Okay, so that is going to be a challenge. Okay, uh, yes, should we do south first or north? I think we'll do north first. It's going to present a nice challenge for us. Uh, we'll go north for a little while. Should we dig through this? I bet we have the money, but then this farm's going to be in the way. Um, and I kind of want to. I kind of want to just keep it the the same height as that, but I don't know what height it is. So we'll just do that. Um, where should we go? Should we go through in between the farm here and this town? Or should we go on the outs? We'll go on the outskirts. We'll go past the farm and then up. Okay, let's do that. So we've got uh, 75 million in the bank now. Nice amount of money to be able to spend on terraforming. Uh, if I remember correctly, there's a farm at the top of this as well. So, where is it? There it is. There's one of the farms. So we should be able to just like plow forward with this and then do a slight kink at the top towards the farm. So if we go to about there, that's the same height, nice. And then diagonal to here. And then we'll, we'll, we'll fix um, this area up probably by doing this and that. We'll get a nice station in on the end. Um, should we do... I'm not sure what sort of station to do, but... Uh, we'll put in... We'll just do a standard terminus. We'll do a lines like this. And then this one can go like that, and that one can go like that. And that'll do. Nice and simple. Keep it easy. There we go. And then we'll we'll branch off up here as well. Uh, oh, have I misjudged that? I have misjudged that. There we are. I don't think I'm at full at full mental capacity on this at the moment, um, which is not great. It's not a great time to record. Uh, there we go. Come on. There. Right. So generally things are going quite well. Obviously we need to increase the amount of goods being brought into our town, but that was all part of the plan, so it's going okay at the moment. Now, I did have a comment last time, and I'm sorry, I can't remember who it was. Somebody said you can remove by go remove tool and drag like that. Now, I tried that in the past and it didn't work. Um, so I was under the assumption it still didn't work. So I don't know what's going on, uh, but... Um, we can control and drag and, and get rid of them and put them in. So, just as a note, remember you can do that. Now, I'm going to see if I can get... I don't think I'm going to be able to get past this farm because it's really high up. I might have to do a different sort of kink here. Yeah, I'm almost certainly going to have to do it differently. So, we're going to start here and just go like that. Ooh. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. We'll go further up until we're at the right height and then sort it out in a second so that is enough room for one track we'll do it for this one and we'll just remove these two signals and cut out the bit for the next one now really ideally I should probably get some goods uh, some not mater goods materials coming in to from that first place get some trains going Yes, that is definitely a good idea. Um, so which one's this one? This is the wool one. So we need some wool trains. Um, I'm thinking I might be able to figure out a way of putting like a depot here without getting 90 degree turns in too much. So if we do that, that'll connect up to there, there, and then you can do that to there. And then this one just needs a link here. There we go, one horrible junction. But you know what, the amount of trains going through that junction at the same time is gonna be so small, it won't matter. 
All right, let's check to see what vehicles we're currently using. Uh, I think it was the 37, uh, the 47. No, it wasn't. It's the SH25 diesel, I think. 93% reliability. Reliability for me is one of the most important things. So we're going to full load there, and then we're going to come down here, and we're going to offload. And we need some wagons. Now, is this a six length setup? I think it is, isn't it? Yes, yes it is. Buy vehicles until we got a train length of six. And then close the orders, change the cargo. This one is wool. There we go. And we're gonna go. Oh, the orders are already done. Yep. Clone, clone. Three will do, I think, for now. We can always get more on later. And away we go. There's the farm number one hooked up. And it's only been 10 minutes. Uh, we've got more trains on the way. Uh, this station over here presumably still has this crates of manufacturing supplies sat there. That will dwindle itself away until it, it gets down to nothing. Um, let's crack on with getting the next ones linked in then. So we're going to come up here, here and down there. Not 100% sure where this is going to have to go. Probably if we find the natural edge. This is the natural height edge here. So we'll we'll help it out slightly. There we go. And then we'll do the same here. We'll, we'll bring in a natural piece of edging there. And there's going to be some sort of kink. Probably around here. There we go. Oh, so that needs to go. Brilliant. Oops. Oh, there's no one done undo button in Open TTD because it's all like things are happening in real time, and you can't undo things when you've got a game where stuff's happening in real time like that. Okay. So that looks good. We go up here. We, I think we've just gone past somewhere. We'll have a look on the world map soon. It's too bad you can't change the colours of the industries because then we could just like set them both to bright pink or something and make it really easy to see on the map. Why, why is this train stuck? It's literally stuck in the middle of a line. What's going on? We're getting... Oh. I, I don't think it is proper stuck. No, it's not. It just thought it was stuck. Uh, and then um, I think... Did we say we were going to go across this body of water? We did. So ideally we want to go, we don't want to hit these these railway lines here, we want to go separate across there, which means we need to go past this oil. Um, so it's really easy to, to build this railway line that I'm working on at the moment because it's it's um, one above, well one or two above sea level, depending on which way you look at it. Ah, Nuts, that didn't work. Let's try. Oh, excuse me. That sneeze came out of nowhere. I was in the middle of doing tracky goodness, which is a very similar thing to trainy goodness, uh, and then I just sneezed. And, uh, oh, there's a farm here. That's a plantation farm. They're no good. Get rid of them. Right, so we're going to go past the plantations to here, and then we're going to connect this up what kind of farm's that? It's a mixed farm, so we want the plant fibres from there. That's going to be interesting. Um, and then we can go diagonally to here-ish. You can tell which railway lines have been done late game and which railway lines have been done early game. Uh, for example, uh, there we go. Early game railway line. Lots of ups and downs. Um, terrible little neat uh, junctions, big right angles uh, to just try and get over a massive hill. Uh, new uh, age railway lines dug through hills. We don't care about money, we just want our trains to get straight there. There we go. There we go. Right. So that's that there. And the fact that this one's got an uppy bit there is actually very bad. But we're going to bring this one down. We're going to tunnel down uh, and bring it just above sea level so that we can do stuff with it. Because then it's cheaper. Because doing that is a lot more cheaper than doing a double bridge. God, tunnel's in the way. All right. 
So we want to go from there. I'm, and I am well aware that I'm just building a giant railway line and I'm not actually putting anything on it yet. Um, and then should we change the height back up again? Yes, we will. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll come back up to the same height. Why not? It seems like a good idea. Lots of things like seem like a good idea at the time. Okay, I am fairly sure that we've gone past lots of farms there. So we will leave that track as it is and start fitting in some stuff. Uh, oh, signals. Nearly forgot the signals. Uh, let's do... Let's remove that signal. Uh, signal, remove... There we go. We want this type. And there we go. So let's drag them along there. I want to remove that signal, that signal, and that signal. Fantastic. Just check the signals around here. Yeah, this signal here is the wrong kind. There we go. It's okay now. We've got the three trains up there loading already. And brilliant. Okay, world map. So the nearest farm next is this one. Probably that one needs to be captured as well. I don't know whether we'll get it on the same line. And then this one. And we've got these ones here that I want to bring in. They, they're, they're quite close. Um, uh, it's going to be difficult to work out exactly how I'm going to do it. But I will. I'll manage it somehow. So the next farm is this one. Thankfully it's not too high up. Uh, we'll do the same as not, uh, what we did previously. We'll just do a nice little simple terminus station like this. Bring it down almost to the right height. Just do a slight change there. Remove these signals, they're going to be in the way. Okay, so these are the main bits here. These are two, um, it's just going to be overflow, I would have thought. There we go. And we'll stick a depot on it. I said we'll stick a depot on it. I didn't say that we'd, whatever that button was. There we go. Right. So it can come out there, it can come out there, it can come out and go along there. Um, it can come this way and go there. It doesn't need to go back that way. It doesn't need to go. Oh, it doesn't need to go that way. There we go. Right. Signals. Track. Junction. And again, it's going to be a poor man's junction because it doesn't need to be anything else. It's going to be like three trains coming off the spur of this one. That's it. This one is uh, the same kind of farm as this one, I believe. Where's it gone? There it is. Yes, it is. So we can actually just clone the train. Ah, there we go. We just need to change the first order. So we delete that and tell it to go to here instead. Um, yeah, that looks good. And then we need to just clone it out shouldn't need to no we don't need to refit the train because we cloned it uh, they're not shared orders are they oh no I accidentally did shared orders oh nuts 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 delete trains delete the delete the entire train there we go right these guys where are they all these guys have got the wrong orders now I caught myself look it should be going oh Oh, I didn't do it wrong. I thought I'd done it wrong. It's nice to nice to realise when you haven't done something wrong and you thought you had and then everything's fine. Uh, right, so the next th thing, uh, next farm. This farm's the wrong kind of farm. It's an arable farm. This farm over here is a mixed farm, so that will be bringing some stuff in. We'll do that. Should we do it now? Ugh, don't want to. I've got terrible hilly illness. Let's go and do that hopefully they'll still let us put a station in yeah we'll have a, a train line coming out of here and we'll do the same thing we'll, we'll mix this up like that and just do it in every direction that we can why not it's easier that way you know you haven't missed anything if it goes in every direction it's going to be brilliant um Let's make that level and come out a little way there. And it's going to have to step down and step down. Oh, no, that's in the way. Oh, we can do, we can get over that. If we do this with a bridge and then do that with a piece of track. Ha ha! 
Oh. Uh, we're going to have to have a little kink. Never mind. Never mind. A little kink in the track is sometimes required. You can't just put whopping great big straight pieces of track everywhere. Now, I want this to connect up here somewhere. I'm thinking if it comes off around here, that will be better rather than having the two junctions right next to each other. So let's um, let's do that. Uh, get the land right. There we go. And signals. Right, so we've got to connect that up to that. Um... If we can get this down to the right, if we go down a bit here and then and then up a bit on the other side, then maybe we can do this. So if we go down one, down two, and then on this side we go up one, and then again up another one. I would expect that to be quite close in terms of height. And then we can just go diagonally across from that point there. Which is really difficult to see because the trees are in the way. So, trees. I like having the trees, but it does make it difficult. Uh, we need to level the land off because there's a bit of a bit of a jump in the way that the land is there. There we go. Now hopefully that will then line up okay with this. So if I bring this forward... Oh yes! Look at that! Wow! Almost perfect. Uh, there we go. Right. Signals. Signal, 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 signal. Remove that one and that one and that one. And I think we're good. Yes. So we're going to need some new trains. We're going to do. We're going to clone them, but we've got to keep, be careful this time because it's a different cargo. So uh, we're going to make sure we're in the right depot. We're going to clone this train here. Get rid of all. No, no, not get rid of its carriages. Refit. Uh, we're going to refit to what we're doing at the arable farm. Plant fibers. Let's see. Where's plant fibers? There it is. Right, so we've got plant fibers there, and then we need to make sure the orders are right. So we remove that, clone that there. Yep, looking good. And then once we've done the orders and the refitting, we can clone it a few times and get it running. We have three farms now hooked up to the textile mill, uh, which apparently didn't do any crates of goods last month. Oh, 45! 45 crates of goods last month. If we look at the overall game, it's telling us we are doing 335 units of goods. Food is doing okay. It was down a little bit last month, but we're still okay on the storage. We might have to check to see how things are going there on the food. Um, but it's it's looking good. Uh, the next one, which well, I think we ought to try and see if we can get these farms linked in. So we've got, um, if we look at the map, we've got two down here and three up here so what I'm thinking is these three together on one line across there and then these two together on one line that comes up and across there yeah that's really the only way it's gonna happen isn't it um, in which case let's uh, let's just knock this bit of hillside down get the track in for it and we're gonna go this way I'm going to see what we crash into or calamitize. So let's see. Oop, bit of track there. Get out. There we are. Right, so here we've got um, part of some interesting railway lines. We can get over there nice and easy with some bridges. This is one of the reasons why I love to do. Oh, it's not. Oh, that's the what? Three wide. I did it wrong. It wants to be here. Um, this is one of the reasons why I like to have different parts of the network at different heights. Because then if the different parts of the network collide into each other, you can just then bridge or tunnel. And that is the wrong bridge. I know I could have probably just clicked on it and changed it like that, but 
I didn't. I forgot. Um, so that's okay. Where are we going with this one? Just into this general vicinity because we've got several to connect up. I don't know where, whether this industry is going to be in the... Oh, very much so in the way. Uh, we might have to kink round it. Um, and we've also got this line here, which is a horrible railway line. Why is it like that? That needs to be dug down. Um, we'll do that sometime soon as well. Uh, no, I, I don't need a mail truck now, thank you. I think it was a mail truck anyway. Um, there we go. Right, let's have a look. Hmm. Yeah, that, that looks like it is actually on that height which is the same height and then it goes down there but we can we can sort that out what we'll do is we'll just destroy that piece of track there and we'll destroy that piece of track there and then shortly after those two trade oh um actually that that's fine some of these trains are going backwards here, which they shouldn't be able to do. But, um... They're not going to crash. Definitely not going to crash. Okay, so, just get this train out of the way. Delete all that. And then that's going to be nice and flat, if I can actually do it right. I need to go round and actually make all the other bits nice and flat. It's something I've been meaning to do for a while, um, and never really, never really des decided I was going to do it at any particular point. Um, oh, that is, that was a terrible cut through. There we go. Let's pull that back up. Okay, so let's reinstate the signals. Can't build signals here. I beg to differ. There you go. Which means I can now bridge over here, okay. What was that? What was that? Oh my goodness, it's all going terribly wrong. Can I do that? There we go. Now, yeah, we're going to hit this industry. We're going to almost certainly going to have to just do that. It's a little unfortunate. Like I said previously, sometimes it's required. I suppose I could try and cheat and delete the industry, but I'm not going to cheat uh, on on this game. Oh my goodness. Right then. Well, we've done quite a lot. Uh, some big lines gone in. Uh, ready for a lot of hooking up. We've managed to hook one, two, three farms up already and build this new line across here. There's also going to be a new line coming in here as well that's going to go across to there. Um... Looking forward to getting these ones hooked up. And what I might do is hook these what these ones up on this side, uh, ready for next time. And then hopefully we can maybe work on the southern uh, entrance. Um, but I'm still I'm not seeing many trains coming through. But the goods trains are start are starting to move now. Uh, wrong button. Uh, number of units uh, delivered last month is now up to 400. Food is back up to where it should be. So that's I'm happy with that. Um, we're getting there. We're going to be having lots of fantastic goods and we're going to hit that required mark. So, um, we're going to leave it there for now. Thanks very much for watching. Remember to check out my social media and websites uh, for all my events and live streams and stuff that I do. Uh, there's a lot of open TTD stuff that happens around in that area as well. But for now, uh, I will leave you and see you next time. Take care and goodbye.